All right, what's going on, everybody? God bless y'all. Hope y'all are still doing well on this beautiful Saturday. I'm going to dive right into this video because I'm going to be talking about me. And I believe it's about time that I do this video because I've never done it. But my title says, Why I Didn't Make It in Hip Hop. Why I Didn't Make It in Hip Hop. And y'all that know me, that really know me, know growing up especially that all I did was harm with rappers. I used to rap myself. You know, I wouldn't call myself no great rapper, but I didn't even need no pen. You know, I could just freestyle off the top of my head. And the reason why I want to do this video because some of y'all youngsters that look at me, I want y'all to really feel me in this video because a lot of y'all think it's about the fortune and the fame, the, the cars, the clothes, you know, the, the women. And that lifestyle can lead you straight to the grave or in prison very quick if you're not careful. So a lot of people don't see what goes on behind the scenes. And let me say this off top, I'm not in this video to down no rap or nobody because I remember where I used to be at once upon a time in my life. And it's not the fact that JT couldn't have made it. It's that once I really saw what went on, I didn't want no part of it. And then once God showed me what I really supposed to be doing in my life, I had a whole new outlook on my life. Yes, I used to rap nonsense, get drunk, you know, hang with certain people. Ain't that right, K-Ray? We, we can sit here and write a book about that and how in the hood, I'm pretty much, well, there might have been a couple other people, but in the hood, I was the one that made all the rap beats. I was the one everybody was depending on to, to say, get us out of here, man. It's going to be you to get us out of here as long as you make them beats, man, and, and, and you know, keep that going and such and such, but don't forget about me, man, when you make it. How many of y'all ever heard that? And when you are the pretty much one of the only ones in the hood that can make the beats, you know you got a lot of pressure riding on you. And then a lot of people going to get mad when you're not doing what they want you to do. And I found out the hard way by dealing with a lot of rappers, they ain't going to be about nothing. You know why? Half of them are going to be locked up. Half of them are going to get shot up on the streets. And when I started putting two and two together, well, let me say it right, when God started showing me, JT, this is not for you, I had to realize that it wasn't for me. See, anybody can get a pen and some paper and start rapping about nonsense. I was talking about stuff, I was rapping about stuff I ain't never even done in my life. Easy E was alive, he said they were studio gangsters. And see, it's what we got going on now, we got a lot of rappers rapping about stuff they know they ain't never done, just to impress somebody else, but it's each to their own. You do what you want to do. This is why, once again, I'm not down nobody. I'm talking about me and my life. And most of the people that I laid tracks for, I can't even tell you what I had for meals other than prison are already dead. And I still have people come up to me right now and they be like, say, bro, what, what's up with you and the beats, man? You know, you supposed to have been up there. You supposed to have been on that level. You supposed to have been sitting right there with the big time people. And you know what I tell them? I'm sitting right where God want me to be, up under him. And they don't, a lot of them, they don't understand that. And you got people that always want to say, man, just can you make me this beat, make me this. I left rap alone a long time ago. I did. And let me say something else. When you get in the studio with a lot of these rappers, hmm, the way they come at you, the way they talk to you, and they want you to take it, hmm, take it in, and, and you better not say nothing back to them. See, that's not for me. Because I've been uncussed every last one on that and a fight come with it. So I know my mentality. And that's why another reason I couldn't mess with that stuff. But me and my brothers, big brother JT, little brother JT, my twin brother, all of us had a chance. Even my daddy in his, gen in his era, his generation, had a chance to go big. He going to come over and tell y'all about that one day. But once he saw he was going to have to sell his soul. Papa JT left it alone, minute, man. And I see that a lot of people are selling their soul to the devil in this rap game. Because they'd rather be popular, they'd rather, you know, live a lie, and they don't want nothing to do with Christ a lot of times. So like I say, then what I love now is I love, what I love about Facebook is that everybody that I grew up with, hmm, everybody that know me, even on YouTube, they see my face, and they saying, what happened? Because they remember, 
all the beating that I used to do, all the making the tracks and rapping and cussing and all that stuff, you know, getting drunk, you know, hanging with this one, hanging with that one. And now they see that, what is he on, what does he mean he on Facebook? He, he done got delivered. Now he's preaching the word of God. And I don't hide my face. I, see, when I did things bold for the word, I got to do, let me let me be bold for, for the Lord. Just like Sister Didi was just saying in her video, we do all this shouting and running around, speaking in tongues, but as soon as the church door closed and you go home, your power is gone. P.P. Drawing said the same thing the other day. You scared. You're ashamed of God. You don't want to recognize God. I don't have a problem. And see, everybody that I grew up with, all the gangsters, the thugs, the women, the the, the ones who can't stand me, they see me spread God's word. So I'm glad that I didn't make it in the rap. Mm. Because I ought to have my big brother do this type of video because the way we all got burned in so many ways, when you don't know the business, when you're young, when you're starting out, when people will rip you off, mm, had to make your life per hell. Per hell. And I started realizing that what I wanted to do in life, it didn't have nothing to do with God at first. See, church, can we talk about ourselves sometimes? Can we tell folks why we didn't make it to certain places? Or can we tell folks what God has done for us? Because real talk, if I had a problem that went out on that road and started hooking up with a lot of different rappers and, and producers and everything, I probably wouldn't even be close with God at all. I probably wouldn't even be here sitting here right now. I probably would have hopped in the car with the wrong person and probably be dead, shot up. Ain't no telling. But what God had for me, it is for me. I'm glad that I chose serving God. This is why when I see my brothers with their pants hanging down, with their grills in their mouth, and they, you know, degrading women and women love it, because let me let me get all the way real in this video. See, this is not a Bible, King James. Let me let me let me let me get a little bit real with some of y'all. It's sad to see so many women steady shaking their tail. I'm gonna keep it clean. I ain't gonna curse. Shaking their tail too. The same music, the lyrics that's calling them all kind of bitches and hoes. And they loving it. Some of these women, I just got to be in the video. I got to have my clothes off. Do you know what they're saying about you? But once again, I'm not down nobody. I'm speaking real. These fools walking around instead of calling you bitch and hoe and you shaking your tail to it. God Almighty. See, something is wrong here. And I know I just made a lot of men mad with this because this is how they make their money. I'm not trying to knock your hustle. You your own man. You do what you do. I'm speaking what's real. So you ain't got to tell me about the rap game. I've been in it too long. That's why I left it alone. You ain't got to tell me about being in the studios, them after hours, and all the smoking and all the drinking and what goes on. But let me put a pen right there and pause. Let me flip to the gospel side because I have been in the studio with a lot of gospel singers, men and women playing in those groups. You know what they do when church is out? A lot of them go whole around with each other. Go get drunk. Go get high. So they're doing the same thing that the rappers do. And if that's what you want to be caught up in, you don't want much. See, I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do. Once again, don't take this video the wrong way. I'm talking about me. This video is talking about JT to express to others because maybe it can help somebody. Because a lot of people ask me, why haven't you made it? What happened to you doing all them rap beats? Man, you used to could rap. Me, me and K-Ray still, when me and K-Ray get, get together sometime, don't we still play around and freestyle and rap? Because we ain't forgot how to rap. I ain't forgot where I came from. I ain't forgot what I used to do. I just don't do it no more. But I don't down my brother when I see him, you know, doing what he do. But I can't wait till they ask me. Even if they don't ask me, I'll walk up and tell them, you know what, man, I remember a lot of that stuff. I said, but I found something better. See, a rapper can't do nothing for me. Rapping don't do nothing for me, but reading this word of God and spreading this word of God, that's my true prosperity. You know why? Because it's dealing with my soul. So to my young brothers, you, you think it's easy? I guarantee you, if you can hook up with a lot of those rappers and go behind the scene with them. 
how much they owe people, how they got to rent certain things. See, I'm, I'm talking what's real. You, you see these videos and you think a lot of times that, man, they balling. In really, reality, a lot of them are falling. Half of that stuff you see in them videos, they don't even own that stuff. It's some of them that do, but a lot of them be borrowing somebody else's vehicle. Hmm. Got them, man. Trying to make it look like I got all of this and I got all of that, and they got a headache behind the closed doors. Tupac told the truth about a lot of this stuff. People are being sued, and, and, and the business, it's one of the most dirtiest business you can get into, ain't that right, big brother? My big brother looking at this video, it's one of the most dirtiest business you can ever be a part of. And let me be all the way real, church can be one of the most dirtiest business you can be in. Because now we see how many people trying to get rich off of the word of God. I mean, I didn't know Jesus died on the cross for us to, to make money off of him and lie about his word. You better be careful what you're getting off into. So I just wanted to do this video, and this is why I didn't make it. I had plenty of chances to make it, but I turned it all the way down. Let me let me speak real, because I, I have to do this video like this. It's just like even in gospel. I'm not going to reveal no names in this video. But how, when you are a minister of music, y'all know I'm a minister of music also, and a producer, writing all that stuff. I ain't trying to toot my own horn and all this stuff. A lot of y'all, some of y'all don't know what I do, so I'm letting y'all know. But even in the big time gospel field, they want you to play a part of stuff that they know is not right. Just like a lot of groups I left alone because it wasn't nothing but homosexuals in it, sleeping around with each other. Hmm. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Women with women, and we call the next serving God. And God is not confusion. <laughs> That's Satan. And we seem like we're going to let Satan just keep on overpowering, overpowering, overpowering. He ain't got no power over me. So I put that devil in his place. I stomp on him every chance I get. Every time he come up on me, I keep that word of God right there and I keep it right here in my heart. And then I use the wisdom that the Lord has blessed me with to fight this fight because I'm in this flesh, you in this flesh. It's nothing easy about living this life. And all that stuff look good because they getting that quick money. Oh, dude asked me the other day, why it seems like when you when you in God, man, it take long for you to be blessed. But but when you when you doing stuff for the world, your, your, your blessings come right away. And I asked them, are those really blessings? Hmm. Because every time I look back around them ones that had that quick money, they back to being broke. They don't have no money. They don't have a peace of mind. They can't sleep at night. They toe up on the inside. They just raggedy. They don't even know what to do next. But when I think about even, even if I don't get all the stuff that I, let me say it like this. I don't want to confuse nobody. If God don't do nothing else for me, he have already done more than enough. If I don't get no big mansion, which I ain't crying and complaining about, no way. I can't miss what I never had. If I don't get no big mansion on this lifetime, don't you know when I leave this flesh that I already got a mansion promised to me? And check this out. I'm not have to go. I'm not gonna have to go in debt behind it. Woo! I'm about to shout hallelujah. I'm not gonna have to worry about no bills. Got to worry about the bill collectors calling me, wanting their money. I ain't going to be in no kind of debt. I'm going to be in a body that I can't even get sick in no more. See, let me go back to the real prosperity. Dealing with my soul. I don't know about y'all, but I want my eternal life. When I leave this, why would I want to come back to it? Let me go where it's all good at. Let me go be with the creator who created me, who I love so much. See, the rap game couldn't get me there. I used to try to drink problems away. The drink, the, the, the Thunderbird, the, the Hennessy, the Crown Raw, the Burr, none of that stuff could get me there. But once I found God, hmm, I don't like to say I found God because he was always there. Once I quit being ignorant and stupid, let me say it like that, I found the high that never came down. And I was high with the Lord. See, them blunts can't get you to where I'm talking about. That weed can't get you there, fella. Though you might seem like your problems is gone for a few minutes, 15, 20 minutes, but you know when your high come down, you're going to have the same problems. This is where your joy 
comes in at. So this is why I didn't make it all so. And let me say this again, you gotta be willing to fail in order to succeed in this life. If you scared to fail, then you ain't gonna never succeed in this life. Now you can take that to the bank. I had a better calling. It wasn't the rap game. It wasn't living for the world. It was living for God. But I had to be broke down to see this. And now I once was blind, spiritually blind for sure. Spiritually deaf at one point in time. Now I can see spiritually. Now I can hear spiritually. So this is why I do all I can to reach out to my brothers and my sisters and tell the truth. Youngsters, it look good, but everything ain't glitter, ain't gold. Yeah, you, you might think you want to get caught up in having all these women coming out to you and you're going to run into that one woman that might take your life away from you because it's a lot of diseases out here. It's a lot of people giving people, you know, diseases on purpose because they mad. And it's, it's going to be up to you to stay away from it. So with that being said, this is why I didn't make it because God had a better plan for me. That's why I'm bold for God, because I done deal with the rappers. I done deal with the thugs. I, done, I grew up in the hood. The streets is what I grew up in all my life. So I want to take what I learned. See, I use, I use all the negative stuff that I've seen to live and learn from it, to live positive. Love y'all. God bless y'all. God keep y'all. Till the next time, peace and remain blessed.